feed me. Hey now, it's The Rob, alongside my broadcast colleague. What's up, Eric Cordes here with WKDQ, and uh, the Enhancement Talent is here with you on this Thursday. Yes. And, uh, well, we are coming off of uh, an interesting Raw from uh, from the United Kingdom. and I would I would say it was a productive show. I, I would think, I, think I would, it was too. I wouldn't say it was an excellent show. It wasn't a must see episode, but uh, they really needed to get their main event in gear. I felt like for a Survivor Series, and I feel like they accomplished that. You know, when uh, sometimes how we watch Raw and we go it lacked focus. This Raw did not lack focus because they I knew agree. exactly what they wanted to do. They had a lot of work ahead of them, uh, especially with Ryback. Mm-hmm. Um, so let, let's grade it. I mean, if, if you want to grade how they. In, in the last, what, three weeks, have taken Ryback to be in a tag team glorified jobber to a main eventer. What, how would you grade WWE on that? Um, let's see. Over the past, you talking about strictly from Monday night? Just, just over the last three weeks, yeah. Yeah, I would say that I'd give it an A minus, to be honest with you. I mean, it's like he's, he's back as being the big tough guy, and they did it very easily. Yeah, and it's kind of kind of interesting. You think so many times once they've ruined a character, there's no way to get it back, but they, they, they've done it yeah. with Ryback. Um, right so, back to me, he's always done a fine job. It's just the reception of him is always different. Well, and I think they, uh, you know, creative ruined Ryback. I mean, yeah. his run, the only negative with his run the first time was people compared it to, to Goldberg. And and other than that, I mean, there was no real negative there. People were yeah. still behind him. They, the Feed Me More and everything was there. Um, the problem was... He was on a roll, and then they they kept screwing him out of matches, just yeah. in weird ways, making him look really stupid. I remember it all started with CM Punk. I don't remember why, but I remember thinking that a match with CM Punk. Was I believe Brad Maddox. That's what it was. Brad yeah, Maddox that was, was the a... referee. Uh, then the Shield and the Shield debuted and screwed him over, and they, he just kept getting screwed over. A whole lot of you know ways that were deflating him, and you know putting the brakes on his push, but. Um, yeah, no, I feel like I'm interested in him again, which is good. I feel like he's uh, kind of become a focus on the main event, at least on Monday he was. Mm-hmm. And, uh, he was the focus. Monday yeah, night. for sure. I mean, all night. So so there's that. Uh, well, did you have other things? Well, yeah, so here's here's kind of where, where I'm going with this. Now that they've done so well with Ryback, to me it seemed obvious that he would be the fifth member of Team Cena at this point. But I have had people, including my intern T. Sams, who said, I don't think that that's where they're going. What do you think? Is Ryback that fifth member for Team Cena? Yes. Okay. Well, I mean, that, that's what I took from Monday night was he, was he left the authority to go join Team Cena. And now the authority needs a fifth member. Right. And, and I think they picked up their fifth member, too, in Luke Harper. Wouldn't you agree? Oh, you know, I didn't. Yeah, uh, yes, yes, I, I didn't even put that together. But yes, I do agree with that. So it looks like looks like Team Authority is set. The question is, Duh. is Ryback? Yeah, uh, what an idiot! What a dumb comment I just made. But, yeah, but is is Ryback there? Because there's still the thought of well, Randy Orton is healthy, but he's filming a movie. But how long does it take to film a movie? Does he get off and come back to the pay per view? I am keep- Roman Reigns. I think is ready. Does he come back? Okay, uh, here's what I think. I think Orton will play a big role in the main event of Survivor Series. I don't think Roman Reigns will. Okay. Uh, I've been saying that Orton, it, it's it's his time. I feel like the, the, the full-on face turn may even happen at Survivor Series. Okay. See, I disagree with you because it, I think if it's not Ryback, I think it'll be Roman Reigns. I don't think it'll be Randy Orton. It doesn't need to be Randy Orton, in my opinion. Because I think, first of all, he's he's kind of been transitioning. Randy Orton's been transitioning mm-hmm. into this babyface character. But he's been a heel for a while and, you know, maybe the thing would be to hold him off until like the Royal Rumble and he gets that return pop and then he's really over as as a babyface. Um it may be I just feel like he's very deeply rooted in this feud. Yeah. But but so is Roman Reigns if you think about that. So uh, Orton more so to me. Okay. I feel like I associate him with this, and he was uh, done dirty, I think, by the authority. And I feel like, while he may not be a fifth member per se, I feel like he's going to have an impact on the main event. Okay. All right. So, but but you would still stick with Ryback being a part of that team? Yes. Okay. Because uh, what T. Sams was telling me is that he thinks that, that uh, Ryback would be more of like one of those lone wolves because he did attack Cena, but then he also, you know, attacked every member of the authority. Maybe he's just one of those, like, floaters, you know, one of those tweeners that, hmm. you know, and maybe he won't join either team, but the, but if he doesn't, like, where does he go? No, I think that I think that Ryback will be a part of Team Cena. Okay. I do. Um, 
some other things about this upcoming show is, uh, while we only have one announced 5-on-5 five -five match, I'm excited that the focus of the show is at least on a 5-on-5 five -five Survivor Series sure. match. Uh, I'm assuming it will be elimination style. And uh, that I associate that with this time of year. Yeah. I associate that with Thanksgiving. I like these big uh, jumbled tag messes. And if you want to put another one on there, like the undercard is very, there, there's not a whole lot happening right now. No, so not. you could put, you know, two or three more uh, Survivor Series matches together if you wanted to. I feel like you could, but I don't know that it would be smart just because you have so many of your top guys focused in that, you know, mm -hmm. that main match. It's like, I, I don't want to see Adam Rose versus the Bunny on this card, but I'm afraid I'm going to see that. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's like, just because there's not enough guys to go around. Um, but uh, but yeah, you could do something with the tag teams. I mean, you know, you've got a lot of tag teams. There, there are, that, yeah. That uh, you know, not great tag teams. It's not it's not the days of the late eighties, but but <laughs> there's some teams true. there. Um, you know, uh, you could maybe do a fatal four way, I guess, with with the the four main teams that are feuding. I remember old um, Survivor Series series used to start with like twenty man. Oh, I know. Uh, tags. You could have five teams. There were actually at one time ten tag teams you could put. In yeah, one match. in one match, and still have and then, other matches, and then still have five on fives after that. Yeah, unbelievable. Those are the days, uh, Eric. Yeah, those were the days, and they, even the conquistadors got their time to shine on the pay per view. Another thing, As a matter I, of fact, they were the winners. I think of that. They may have been. Yeah, I liked it. I loved Thanksgiving Eve. Yeah, you know, I remember it was Thanksgiving night, but that was not when I was a wrestling fan. My first Survivor Series was uh, the first pay-per-view I ever got to look forward to in 1994. I became a fan of the pay-per-view before, but had no wrestling knowledge up until then. Survivor Series holds a special place in my heart. That uh, 1994 Survivor Series uh, was a very 1994 pay-per-view. You had oh, doinks yeah. and lollers, and you had very true. a casket match. And uh, To me, it was a great show, and I love that it was the night before Thanksgiving, and it was for uh, a few years around that. I wish it was like that again, but I know it's just not feasible. Yeah, and, you know, without Chuck Norris, what is Survivor Series? What is Survivor Series? <laughs> but uh, there you go. If you have any ideas of where Ryback's going, uh, what's the status of Roman Reigns, Randy Orton, what do you think? And uh, how do you think this Survivor Series is shaping up? Please let us know. Of course, we'll have uh, predictions for you next week and you, some other fun. Do you think it's possible to see sometime before WrestleMania a Lesnar-Ryback feud? Or at least a match. Not before WrestleMania. Okay. But it, I, I think it could come. Let's find out. Let us know what you think. Remember to click subscribe on the videos, and we always appreciate the feedback. Our email addresses are right down here at the bottom. Thanks for watching the Enhancement Talent. We will see you on Monday. Need more. Feed.